Welcome back. It is April and I promise I'm not here to pull any pranks. There's no April Fools. I'm here. I'm back. If you didn't know, I'm back in Australia. I've been in Japan for the last three weeks and I'm ready to get into what is coming out this April because there's a lot. I was really surprised when putting this list together. If you don't know, these lists cover what's coming to VOD, which means video on demand, which is streaming platforms and rental platforms online. Here it all is down in release date order for your convenience and I've listed them all below as usual and we're covering horrors and thrillers let's get started action thriller hunt club hits vod on the fourth starring mickey rourke and mina safari the film follows a group of male hunters who take a deep breath lure women back to their island with the chance to win a hundred thousand dollars in a hunt challenge and then, of course, <laughs> you can guess where this is going. They turn on these women. But this time, things are different and the men soon lose control of the hunt. The film is a little bit on the nose, but I'm curious to see if they can pull it off. Who's keen to check this one out on the 4th? There's been a lot of buzz about new horror documentary, Living With Chucky. As we follow filmmaker Kira Gardner, who grew up alongside of Chucky the doll. She seeks out other people recounting their experiences working on the franchise and what it truly means to be part of the Chucky family. The film has interviews from Jennifer Tilly, of course, and Lynn Shay, among others. The documentary has been called both powerful and emotional. As a Screenbox original, it will be released on the platform on the 4th, but it will also be available on some VOD platforms for rental, such as Amazon, Apple, and Google Play. Slasher fan! Slasher Ripper marks the fifth season of the Slasher Anthology Horror Series, and this season claims to be the most gruesome yet. It follows Basil, or Basil, <laughs> who is a charismatic tycoon who comes face to face with a killer called the Wind widow who is carrying out justice against the rich and powerful. The series will start with two episodes that aim to hook the viewer and these will hit Shudder and AMC Plus on the 6th. Aussie indie horror flick Godless the East Field Exorcism hits VOD on the 6th and the trailer makes this one look like a dark fantasy with a religious twist. The movie follows Lara, a tormented woman who has been torn between science and faith. Now she is pushed by her husband to see treatment leading her to an exorcist who attempts to save her soul before it's too late. And I'm here to speak the truth and the premise isn't really grabbing me but the visuals do look pretty well done considering the budget so I'm very curious about this one. Horror action thriller You're Killing Me follows Eden, a woman who is desperate to get a letter of recommendation that will land her a position at an elite university. But to obtain this letter she will need to land in the good books of her obnoxious classmate who just happens happens to be throwing a rager. But things get messy at the party when a tragic accident occurs and she witnesses the unspeakable. Now she must fight for her life. I know this one sounds very confusing, but I'm hoping it's just because it's a twisty ride. The movie stars Michaela Miller, Dermot Moroni, and the late Anne Hesch. It will be on rental platforms from the 7th. I had to mention this next one because it was indeed not on my 2023 bingo card. Dead Hot Season of the Witch is a documentary type movie which stars Vanessa Hudgens and musician Gigi McGree as they explore Salem to learn learn about witchcraft, ghost hunting, and connecting with the spirit world. In the past, Vanessa Hudgens has spoken about the paranormal and revealed that she believes she has a gift for communicating with the dead. But this poster, it feels very 2000s paranormal investigator, and I'm honestly just confused what this is doing in 2023, but I'm here for it. The movie was meant to head to cinemas, but it looks like it may be heading to Tubi due to some early interviews. Keep your eyes peeled because it's yet to be confirmed, but it should be very shortly. Rachel Weisz takes the lead in the remake of the Cronenberg classic Dead Ringers. And this time it's not a feature film, it's a mini series. The six episode show follows the Mantle twins who are identical from head to toe. And they're on a mission to change the way women give birth. 
Earth, starting in Manhattan. The psychological thriller drama series will premiere on Prime on the 21st. Fans of the From TV series have struck gold with season two being released this month. The series premiered on Epics in February of 2022 and it was an instant hit. It was distributed by Stan in Australia, Sky Sci-Fi in the UK and Paramount Plus in Canada. So hopefully it will be on the same in these countries. The nightmarish sci-fi horror series is set in a town in the middle of America where everyone who enters remains trapped. The red Residents inside are plagued by terrifying entities that lurk in the surrounding forest. But inside the town itself are twisted dark secrets. Did you check out From Season 1? There was so much buzz about it and are you excited for Season 2 if you are a fan? And also if you are a fan of these videos and you find them helpful, it really helps me if you give it a thumbs up and let me know what you're looking forward to watching in the comments down below. You can also support what I do here, join my Discord community and get some bonus videos over on my Patreon which is all always linked down below. It's just Spooky Astronauts on Patreon. But the next film seems quite interesting if you're into creature features. In horror thriller The Tank we follow Ben, a man who's just found out that he has inherited an abandoned coastal property from his late mother who had kept it a complete secret. Ben and his family travel to this location, but when they start exploring, they realize why it may have been abandoned in the first place, as they accidentally unleash a secret that has been locked deep beneath the surface. Fun fact, the special effects for this film were created by Academy Award winning special effects supervisor and creative director Richard Taylor and his team from The Weta Workshop. This one opens in select cinemas on the 21st and it hits VOD on the 25th. This next film premiered at South by Southwest and it also won Best International Feature at the Fantasia Film Festival in 2022. It's an indie film with a fascinating premise that I knew a lot of horror sci-fi fans would be interested in. We follow a team of special agents who discover a program developer who has created technology to combat online predators. But this technology has evolved and it leads to the question of what it really means to be human. Black Mirror, eat your heart out. The Artifice Girl will have a limited run in theaters and will be on VOD on the 27th of April. Shutter Original From Black follows a recovering addict who is desperate for closure and stunted by the crushing guilt of the disappearance of her child. Now she is offered the chance to get to know the truth and set things right, but she must pay a terrifying price. How far would you be willing to go to set things right? From Black hits Shutter in select countries from the 28th. And the pregnancy horror subgenre grows with horror thriller The Clock. This feature, written by writer-director Alexis Jacknow, follows a woman's desperate attempt to fix her, and I'm quoting here, broken biological clock. The film has been called a psychological horror thriller and stars Diana Agron from Glee and Melora Hardin, who of course, I can't think of anything else but The Office every time I look at her. This one will be out on the 28th on Hulu. And of course, the Fatal Attraction miniseries is finally here. Based on the classic psychological thriller from 1987, this remake has been adapted by Paramount Plus and stars Lizzie Kaplan as Alex Forrest and Joshua Jackson as Dan Gallagher. Very interesting casting. The eight episode series claims to be a deep dive reimagining of the 80s classic classic, twisting the story for a modern lens. Honestly, the fact that Lizzie Kaplan stars as Alex is enough to get my attention and this one hits Paramount on the 30th. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and checking out what's coming out on VOD this month. What are your favorites and what are you looking forward to the most? I'd love to read in the comments and if there's anything I've left out that you're really interested in, let me know down below. Unfortunately for me, Renfield is not coming out in Australia until next month, so I I know a lot of you will probably be looking forward to seeing that one in cinemas but if there's anything on VOD that you think I should know about please let me know down below. For those who have been asking my screen video is coming I'm just about to see it again I've been out of the country for three weeks and it did not go to cinemas in Japan otherwise I would have taken you along with me but better late than ever I'll see you guys very soon for a screen video and then another movie is coming out this week that I'm really 
intrigued by and interested to take you along to. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. I do new videos every single week talking about horror movies and thrillers and letting you know what to watch just like today. And I'll talk to you all very soon. Stay safe and stay spooky. Bye.